Sure, the God of War series is about vengeance, but it's also about family. From Greek gods to cursed brothers tortured by death itself, Kratos has one of the more interesting family trees out there, as Santa Monica has done a solid job in integrating this character into the Greek pantheon. And today, we're going to be tracing the God of War's lineage in both Greek and Norse mythology. It starts off similar to Greek mythology, with Kratos' father, Cronus, swallowing all of his grandchildren due to a prophecy. But as Kratos' grandma, Rhea, was ready to deliver Kratos' father, Zeus, she turned to Gaia for help in coming up with a scheme to rescue him. Zeus was growing up, freed up all of his siblings from Cronus' stomach, and declared war on all titans, including Gaia. Zeus and the Olympians won the war, but great evils were born from the battle that threatened even the gods. Zeus sealed them away in Pandora's box and made Cronus carry the box while he wandered the desert of lost souls of eternity. Zeus then went on to have a couple of marriages and a great number of affairs. One such affair was with a mortal Spartan woman named Callisto. Kratos' mother. They also had a second child named Deimos. Zeus had heard about a prophecy that one of his bastards with a red tattoo would kill him. So he sent Ares and Athena, Kratos' step-siblings, to kidnap Deimos. Kratos then got himself tatted in honor of his brother and thus became the child from the prophecy. After this, Kratos trained and finally became the captain of the Spartan army and married a Spartan woman named Lysandra to have a daughter named Calliope. He was happy for a brief period of time, but soon, to win one of his losing wars, he became Ares' loyal dog, a decision he would eternally regret. Ares cast a bloodlust spell on Kratos and made him kill his wife and daughter to make him an ultimate warrior. Kratos swore to get revenge, which marked the beginning of his god-killing path. After killing Ares, Kratos meets his dying mother, who tells him that his brother is still alive and that his father was none other than the king of Olympus. She then transforms into a monster due to a curse placed on her by Zeus, and Kratos has to kill her, giving him one more reason to become the sworn enemy of the gods and his father. He then attempted to save his brother from Thanatos, the god of war, but fails to do so and loses yet another family member. Now the red-marked god of war was determined to do what he was prophesied to do. He killed his grandfather Cronus with the same blade of Olympus that his father used to win the war. Now, as mentioned earlier, Zeus liked to sleep around. While the god of war didn't feature all of his children, it does include the famous ones. Two were birthed by Hera, his sister wife, who was the previous god of war, Ares, and the ugliest god, Hephaestus. Kratos killed Ares out of vengeance and killed Hephaestus out of self-defense. But these two are far from the only siblings Kratos kills, though. He kills two of his demigod brothers, Perseus and Hercules. Then there was Zeus's actual godchildren, Hermes, whose mother was one of the Pleiades named Maia, and Athena, whose mother was a nymph named Medus. Of course, Kratos ended up killing them too. In fact, the only sibling Kratos didn't end up killing was Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. But he did do some unspeakable acts with her. He killed his uncles and Zeus's brothers Poseidon, the king of the oceans, and Hades, the king of hell, who were no match against him. He finally confronts and brutally murders his father. Kratos was finally done. His quest for vengeance only brought ruin. But, unfortunately, the spirit of Athena demanded the power of hope for herself. Kratos was done taking orders, so he stabbed himself with the blade of Olympus and released hope unto all of man. Athena angrily pulled the blade out of his chest, leaving him to die. But Kratos dragged himself into the sea. Eventually, Kratos landed in the realm of Norse mythology. There, he found love again in a woman named Fay. The two would have a son named Atreus before Fay passed away. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son. 2018's God of War chronicled the troubled dynamic between Atreus and Kratos, who was still haunted by all the horrors he had committed. By the end, their bond had undeniably grown stronger, though a couple of bombs were dropped on players. God of War 2018 spoiler alert! For one, Faye was really Laffy, a giant from Jotunheim, and Atreus was really Loki, the Norse trickster god. Depending on how mythologically accurate God of War Ragnarok is going to be, Kratos has also met one of his grandsons in the series. Loki and the giantess Agrabora have three children, Jormungandr the World Serpent, Hel the goddess of the underworld, and Fenrir, 
a giant wolf. Most of Kratos' family has been destroyed by Kratos himself. But Kratos is a changed man now and wishes for Loki to be better. And we will likely see this tree expand after God of War Ragnarok. That is, if the two survive by the end of it. It is an apocalyptic event after all. What do you think? Let us know. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay mythically mad.